Well, the way we got started was we had been fasting for a few days and we just happened to check out a book from the library on pizza and uh, we made some Neapolitan style pizza and we were just blown away at how good it was. And from there we started having uh, pizza parties at our house. We put some stones in our ovens. We'd have like, you know, 20, 30 people over, make, you know, a whole bunch of pizzas, 20 pizzas. And it turned into McKinley's pizza parties that we were having. And so we did this for about eight or 10 years. And, and we had a whole bunch of friends that were saying, you know, you should open up a pizza place. Since we, my wife and I were, were 17, 18 years old, we've been dreaming of opening a restaurant. Seeing Messenger Pizza here come to life has actually been better than we envisioned it being. The really great thing about Messenger Pizza here is that it's really in the heart of downtown. It's in a, it's in a unique old building. Um, this building was demolished almost completely in 1918. There was a fire down here and this whole downtown area was wiped out. I just saw a photo of that the other day. It was really interesting. As far as the decor of Messenger, um, I like to do artwork and um, so that's part of it and we, you know, we've got unique vision for things. I describe Me Messenger as a retro Catholic opera trash, I guess, if I could. When we were building Messenger, we really um, had an environment in mind where families would feel welcome, but yet you could get a pint of beer if you wanted to and we wanted it to be just really laid back dining, you know. We're pretty open to people coming in here if they just want to hang out and loiter even, it's okay with us. We just want, to, want it to be really community, community oriented. Pretty much everything we make is from scratch. We make our own dough, our own pesto, red sauce. We shop at the farmer's market almost every week and burn up all the interesting veggies they have over there. Um, sometimes we end up bringing tomatoes from our own house. We are the only pizza place in town here in Nampa that sells pizza by the slice and um, we came up with some pretty good pizzas throughout the past. My wife came up with a jalapeno popper, we've got a Chuck Norris, Red Velvet Nun, Pie Fight, Fair Warrior, you know, we've, we've, we've got a, a pretty wide selection of, of creative ideas going on here. The Chuck Norris is a cool name for a pizza, and so we just came up with ingredients that had some kick to them, you know, jalapenos and garlic and, and sausage is like about the meatiest meat we could think of. Every morning we make uh, fresh baguettes, and then also we have pesto rolls which have uh, roasted red pepper, pesto, parmesan, and sun-dried tomatoes in them, and they're really yummy. One other thing we have that's been really popular is our gluten-free pizza. Um, we've turned over more of those than we thought we would, um, and, and people have been pretty happy with them for the most part. Uh, Monday through Friday, kind of working crowd lunch special. Uh, uh, basically, all-you-can-eat salad bar for $3.50, which is definitely worth checking out. and. Um, slice and a soda for three bucks and then also we have a happy hour every day which is a pint and a slice for five bucks. If you've never been to Messenger Pizza I definitely would recommend it. We've got regional beer, uh, good fresh made hot pizza all from scratch um, and a really great atmosphere so yeah come check us out.